Winston Edmondson here at Hadoop Summit. We've got Scott Capiello from MicroStrategy. He's going to fill me in on what you've been working on. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? <laughs> Very good. So give me a little bit of insight on, on what you're seeing here at Hadoop. Yeah, you know what's different this year? I've, I've been to uh, Hadoop Summit for three or four years, and I think what's different this year is a level of maturity, uh, both in terms of the customers on the panels. You know, we had a nice uh, keynote this morning with customers actually talking about their real use cases. In years past, we've had, uh, you know, folks from Yahoo or Facebook or LinkedIn who are actually working on the code trying to explain to other people. Now we've got customers really saying, here's how I've actually used it in, in my organization. Smart. Now let's talk about customers. What are your customers most interested in right now? Yeah, so MicroStrategy is a, is a leader in business analytics, and um, our customers expect enterprise caliber tools to work with. So our integration is primarily through Hive, and uh, there's been a lot of interest in connecting BI tools to data that you store in Hadoop, and Hive is a natural way to do it, uh, but Hive is maturing. And I think what, um, what we're seeing now is uh, with some of the advancements that Horton has put into Stinger and really improving the response time of Hive, uh, similar to what uh, Cloudera is doing with Impala and all the other SQL in or on Hadoop uh, technologies are really making it possible to have uh, a BI style dashboard with interactive response times on top of your data that's in Hadoop. Is that is that one of the um, items that's important to your customers, having a dashboard or having a, uh, a method of easily looking at things? I mean, some, some people feel that it's uh, the, the solutions that are just too complex, too complicated, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. uh, you're, you're losing uh, interest for one and, and then just the ability to really dive in. Yeah, it's, well you, we want to get the data that's in Hadoop out of uh, not just the hands of the data scientists, but also the business analysts, people who don't want to write MapReduce jobs, they don't know Java code, they don't want to do Hadoop streaming, they don't want to write SQL, they want to use a graphical user interface so they can get through a BI tool like MicroStrategy to interact with data, get do reporting, get the answers to the questions they need with the data that happens to be in Hadoop. There's a lot of talk about these uh, data silos and all this information that's being stored. Uh, for the folks that are at that stage, they, they, they've, uh, they see the value in it, they, they're collecting it. They haven't moved on to, to the stage where that you could help them with. Give us some use case scenarios and, and some real real life benefits that, that uh, you've seen. Yeah, so, so while the desire is to have the interactive response time on top of data that's directly in Hadoop, we are seeing use cases today where you can use MicroStrategy and memory layer to extract some of the data from, from Hadoop, and it's a nice complement to uh, the, the big questions that may take a long time in Hadoop versus the stream of consciousness kind of questions you can ask through our in-memory layer. So we are seeing uh, use cases today. In fact, Yahoo's doing a, a, a session uh, later today on exactly how they've used our in-memory layer with, uh, with Hadoop in, in that example. Fantastic. Uh, well, how about industries? Are, are there industries that you feel it's more pressing for them to, to kind of get on board and, and make this happen? I, I, think it's, I think it's across the board. I don't know if there's any one particular industry that jumps out. You know, we've got, uh, we've got customers of financial services and retail. Uh, you know, those are, the, those are the two that I think we probably see most, but, um, but it's not exclusive to those. I think really any industry is interested in it. Um, let, let's talk about uh, the difficulty in, in, in starting. I mean, a lot of people are just they anticipate that first step, trying to gather all these data sets together and, and make some sense of it. Is it to the point where this can happen you know, without, without a whole lot of pain on the IT side? I don't think, I don't think it's pain so much. I think, um, uh, in fact, I think it's actually pretty easy to get started. I think uh, it's you know, probably the difficulty is really getting value out of, out of getting started. You can start uh, dumping log files into, into Hadoop fairly easily. It's the, it's the next process after that, whether you can find people with skills and experience in Hadoop, that's probably the, the bigger challenge. So getting started is easy, uh, but mastering it is what's hard. What about expectations then? Folks that, uh, you know, they hear that this is the next big thing. They hear this is the future, but when they start, you're not necessarily able to immediately get that value that you talk about. How, how are expectations being set and how is that being managed? Yeah, no, I think it's clear to, or to make, it's important to make clear that if you're, if you're looking for Hadoop to be a cheaper version of your, your data warehouse, that's, that's not the right expectation. Uh, and it's not, also not a good way to, uh, to launch a project in your organization. You want to find a use case that is different from what you can already do with Enterprise Data Warehouse and, and, uh, and learn from that. Get your, get your feet wet, get your experience, get your skill set built on something new, show some value with something new, and then as the product matures, you can look at, well, are there things we're doing today with, um, with current technologies that maybe we can shift over to Hadoop? But that's definitely a second step. Fantastic. So for folks that are, that are ready to, to move into that, uh, what's the best way to get in touch with you or uh, follow, follow you on uh, the, the social network? Yeah, you can always go to, to MicroStrategies website. We have a, a Twitter feed and Facebook presence there. We also have a MicroStrategies 
uh, annual user conference in Europe is coming up in two weeks from now as well. Maybe we can get an invitation to that. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fantastic. Winston Edmondson here with Studio B, MicroStrategy, signing out.